historic Korean church in downtown Portland will soon be nothing more than a memory. Work to demolish the building is now happening full speed following a massive fire. Fox News' Paulina Aguilar joins us live to show us how a part of Portland history is being removed piece by piece. Paulina, I know this was a sad moment for a lot of people. Yes, it was. It was actually bittersweet, but a lot of people also told me that watching this building come down was actually quite fascinating. And I will say I've never seen anything like it. Take a live look for yourself. This crane is getting all the leftover structure, smashing it down to make it smaller so it's easier to throw in that trash. Just moments ago, the left side of the wall, the brick wall that once stood, literally just came down. It was, again, quite fascinating. This parking lot was full of people earlier today coming to check it out for themselves. It was a slow and steady process for crews on Friday as they began to demolish the Korean church. Breaking down the structure piece by piece. It's pretty remarkable to see actually the dismantling of it. It's not something you see every day. In fact, never seen it before. Portland Fire and Rescue says they even had a drone go inside the building to take 3D images to see what it looked like inside. And it was those images that confirmed the building was unsafe and needed to come down. They pushed it pretty hard and it's a pretty big machine. And so it flexed before it fell and they really had to work hard. Whoever's operating that crane really has an unbelievable skill set to see how he would maneuver and get stuff to where he needed and then push in the right direction. Police say 25 year old Karen Storer, who identifies as a Nicolette Fate, confessed to starting the fire on Tuesday. Fate now faces charges of burglary and arson. Uh, when I got back to my place, I actually saw it, the last of it burning. Um, there was just a little corner of it still on fire. And uh, yeah, and I was like, oh, that's that. But the Architectural Heritage Center is hoping to save pieces of the church, like the cornerstone, stained glass windows, and the weather vane for their collection. They're not very confident that those will be salvageable once the building gets knocked over. And, you know, having a piece from the building really reinforces our ability to tell that story. The space where that building once stood for over 100 years will soon become an empty lot. It was kind of uh, exciting, but also very sad because it's a, it's a destruction of, uh, you know, of a historical piece in Portland. Crews have the lights on. They will be working through the evening and they will be here throughout the weekend. Clay and 10th Avenue will be shut down. So keep that in mind if you are traveling in town this weekend. Reporting from downtown Portland, Pauline Aguilar, Fox 12 Oregon.